hi friends my name is Deepak and in this video I will tell you like how we can you know start our uh, listener on Oracle 12c and through that like how we can uh, like uh, log into our enterprise manager so that we can do or operate any of the tasks through the GUI so uh, before going into the database uh, we have to log in uh, to our Oracle uh, server through Oracle user. So let me connect to my Oracle user, Oracle uh, user, and uh, let us check the IP address first. So the IP address is 192.168.163.130. So let us SSH x and then the IP address. It will ask for my Oracle password and I will try to give the Oracle password. Let me try it again. No, I get connected to our Oracle. Uh, with an Oracle user. So let us connect to our SQL server. I'm connecting to my database with an user sysdba. The command would be connect slash as sysdba. Now if I need to check the parameter of my uh, listener like what uh, the exact listener is like there in my system I can check it with the command show parameter local and it will tell me what is a local listener so the local listener is listener 12c right and if in meanwhile if any uh, listener is not uh, there and if we need to change our listener uh, on the database on a running mode the command would be the command would be alter system set local listener the value which is local listener and then the listener name and the scape scope will be both like so that it will be updated on our uh, database on the primary on our like system parameter file so the system is altered so let us try to start of a listener the command uh, through which the listener gets started is first of all we should check the status of our listener right so the command is listener and then status and then the listener name so it will tell any uh, so the listener is not running right now so let us try to start the listener start and then the listener name it will take some time because like right now uh, no services like there is no support of services so it will take some time the command to check like any services is being listened by the, our listener will be lsn or ctl status and then the listener name still uh, it's not listening just wait for a moment so let us uh, execute the command listener status and then the name of the listener it will tell us now that our database instance orcl has one instance and instance orcl status ready and has eight handler for the services so it means that our listener is running right now second step is like how we can check like uh, which port is assigned to our enterprise manager 
there is a very basic command through which we can check like for HTTPS which port is assigned and for HTTP which port is assigned so let us connect to our SQL server and when we get connect to our SQL server uh, we can check the details of the port for our listener for enterprise manager an enterprise manager so the command is select dbms xdb dot get http port so that information that command will give the port for our http service so the port for http service is 8080 and same for https we have to execute the same command but the the change only will be the https so let us try to connect execute that command and the port is 5050 now we should open our enterprise manager on our browser for that uh, we should try to you know ping from my machine because I am running the virtual machine so let us try to ping the IP address of that machine the command will be IP address so let us try to ping to that machine right so In a command prompt, let us ping 192.168.163.130. So we are able to ping to our machine. Just go to browser and just try to. open our enterprise manager so let us check the ports so for HTTP the port, it, port is 8080 so it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.163.130 which is the IP address of our, of our Oracle machine and the port number which I have uh, like tell you in the command for HTTP and after that slash enterprise manager EM let us try to log in so if you see that I am able to log into my Oracle enterprise database enterprise manager here whatsoever you want to perform you can perform like on a graphical interface if you want to check the status of the machine like uptime is how many instances because for Oracle rack uh, we have multiple instance what is a version database instance name platform on which the uh, like Oracle has been installed what is a home directory of our Oracle database there are other uh, configuration details we can perform like in storage I can check the table space like how many table spaces I have you know made any change we can do from that Oracle manager so the point is like how we can you know open that Oracle enterprise manager and to open it uh, we have to you know start our listener and once the listener gets started uh, we are able to open that manager hope that uh, video will be informative for you thanks a lot for watching thanks